This patient is 44 years old and she came to the hospital with the symptom of abnormal menstruation or abnormal period. She has no pain at all, but she just came to consult about her period. My name is uh, Jessamine Jean Morissette. Um, I actually live and work in Bangkok, uh, but I'm originally from the US, uh, from Alaska. I was having uh, an irregular menstrual cycle um, and I would actually had it for a very long time but I was really worried uh, about going in and getting it checked out so I kept putting it off. I was extremely nervous. I would actually made appointments twice previously at different places and broken them. This was the first time I actually made it in. But I have to say that kind of once I went into the hospital and looked around, it was kind of a reassuring environment. And the, the clinic itself, the gynecology clinic was very nice. And once I started talking to the doctor, I felt like I was doing something. And um, she was very reassuring, very calm. Uh, and that helped uh, just a lot. After taking the history and we performed the vaginal examination. The investigation for this patient should be vaginal ultrasound. So we performed the vaginal ultrasound for her and we found a cyst in her ovary. From the vaginal ultrasound, we can see the big cyst in her left ovary. And the size is about nine centimeters. And you can see the cyst is not clear. You can see the white color in her cyst. That means the cyst is not clear. That means this is not simple cyst. After we found a cyst that is quite big, about 9 cm, she need to have the surgery to remove the cyst or remove the ovary because we need to perform the surgery to retrieve the ovary for the pathological evaluation because we cannot know, we cannot make sure if the cyst is benign condition or if it's a cancer. So we discussed with the patient about the risk and the management treatment plan for the patient. And the patient chose to remove the whole ovary of her left ovary because she afraid of the cancer or if there is any abnormal pathology in her left ovary. And we also advise her to have the uterine curitas because she has abnormal period. So we would like to know if there is any pathology in her endometrium as well. So the procedure that we need to perform to her is laparoscopic left adnexectomy or remove the ovary and we do the uterine chilita at the same time. The treatment for the surgery we perform by laparoscope. For the laparoscope, the incision, the wound is quite small about 0 0.5 to 1 cm, 3 pots on her abdomen. So we perform the laparoscope and we can remove the whole left ovary within one hour. Also, we still found that her right ovary has something a regular surface as well. So we perform the biopsy to her right ovary for the pathological evaluation. And we perform the uterine curatage. The whole procedure is within one and a half hour. She has recovery well and she has quite less pain. There was no complication at all. She has quite less bleeding. The bleeding from the surgery is less than 20 milliliters. And after she can wake up, she feels quite good and she has almost no pain because the laparoscope, the patient can recover well and she can walk since the first day after surgery. And honestly, like as to what I felt, just kind of fuzzy floatiness, um, not, not much of anything. Honestly, I've been amazed at how little pain I've had. I don't remember. I think when I woke up, I had just a little bit. It felt kind of like, um, I, don't know, I was wearing pants that were cinched a little bit too tight around my waist, kind of uncomfortably, I don't know, you want to kind of adjust it, but there's nothing you can really do. But in terms of actual pain, there really hasn't been any. Um, except for, you know, when I kind of lose track of what I'm doing and move too quickly in the wrong way, or if I sneeze or if I cough, that's kind of ouchy. From the pathological evaluation, the pathology is only benign. It's mucinastic stadinoma, that means benign, and there is no cancer at all. And in her uterus, from the curatage, there is only the polyp, that means no cancer. So right now, she is full recovery, and she has less pain, can go back to work, and she gonna have normal period after this. After she recover from the surgery, she can live like normal. She can walk and she can work, but the only restriction is that she should not lift up heavy weight, heavy stuff about two weeks after surgery 
and after that she can work and walk like normal. Because after biopsy of the right ovary, we found the cyst as well, the same pathology as the left ovary, and she still have right ovary. That means in the future, the right ovary may be become the cyst as the left ovary. So we need to perform ultrasound. So we appoint her to have follow up ultrasound. The ultrasound should be every six months or one year. Um, it's been great. You know, again, I checked on regularly. I, they always explain to me what they're doing. Uh, you know, if they're giving me pills, they tell me what they are, what their purpose is. Food's quite good. <laughs> Everyone's been just very, very nice and treated me very well. You know, very excited when I could take my first shower and put on my first clothes. And, you know, they were always very good at telling me what step I was, I was at and what I could do next. Yeah, I felt very comfortable here. Really good that that's gone. Very foolish that I didn't get checked up earlier. I think all of this could have been prevented much earlier with some medication. For every woman, if you have abnormal symptoms, even for your vagina, even for your uterus, if you have abnormal discharge from your vagina, if you have abnormal bleeding from your vagina, if you have pain even during period or beyond the period, don't be hesitate to come to see the gynecologic doctor because we can perform the examination and the ultrasound or evaluation for you. And then you will receive the diagnosis and the treatment plan. If you have early treatment, you have fully recovery and the recovery will be faster and better.